Hey twins, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and this is your energy update. So for those of you guys that are on a twin flame journey, this is the place to be. I'm going to channel messages for the collective, okay? Those that are in a twin flame connection and you're on this twin flame journey. You want to know what's going on behind the scenes. You want to know what's happening with your twin. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in, okay? So messages for my twin flames so we're going to start off today with the sacred signs and symbols deck if you guys enjoy these readings you know what to do please do like share comment and subscribe i appreciate it greatly for your love and support of this channel and if you want a personal love to have reading like a twin flame reading um all that is available on my website as well as etsy okay let's jump right in this is one of my decks it's also available on etsy for immediate shipment Messages for the two flames out there. What's going on in this connection? What is happening behind the scenes? What is my twins not aware of? Crystal pendant. I almost feel like I got this in the past. Um, divine guidance, spiritual answers, intuition. A lot of you guys are being guided, okay? Spiritually. Maybe you're very connected to source, to the divine. Um, you could be overall like a, a very spiritual person. Maybe you do tarot, right? Maybe you um, connect with different forms of divination. But I'm seeing answers that are coming your way. A lot of you guys, you have questions about what this twin flame journey is about, why you've been chosen to be on this twin flame journey. You don't seem to understand, okay? And so there's something here about you being spiritually guided, okay? There's some kind of direction, guidance that's being given to you that's going to give you answers as to why, why you're going through this, okay? The hurt, the pain, why you're a distant from your person, what's going on behind the scenes. You're getting guidance, okay? Listen to your intuition. This card is telling me that some of you guys, you may connect with crystals and whatnot, but you're getting some kind of intuitive insight. Um, we have the ball of yarn. Some of you guys are very creative, like you sew, like you do different things with your, your hands, okay? Maybe you make things. I'm going to get a few cards out. This ball of yarn is telling me that someone here was playing around, okay? We have the energy of stringing along, making things much more complicated than it needed to be. I'm seeing two people, okay? I'm seeing that your person had someone else that they were dealing with simultaneously. So they were not fully committed to this relationship. They were not making you the priority. And so these two balls could be literally your person having two options, two opportunities in love okay and juggling so you could have felt like you were being strung along by your person and it feels like something here i'm getting like one huge knot your person may have made a mess okay they may have caught them got caught in doing something that they weren't supposed to do and i'm seeing a knot okay so there's a situation here that's unraveling okay it feels like their their life <laughs> is getting out of control here and maybe they were doing too much and we're not giving enough to you, okay? And I'm feeling like something is unraveling. There could be like a lot of things that are coming to light with this energy, the ball of yarn. I'm getting like you have like one string of knowledge or information coming to you. And then it feels like it's a lot of insight, downloads are like being sent your way right now, okay? It feels like with these two cards, there's something here that's coming your way. So be on the outlook for that. Now, we also have the bookshelf, Karmic Lessons here. So someone here could be having to get their karma, having to learn a big, big lesson. It doesn't have to be bad or good, right? But typically, it feels like with this bookshelf, someone here needed to learn a lesson. And it, maybe it felt like they were repeating something over and over because they were failing to learn the lesson and seeing the bigger picture here. So karmic lessons, maybe there was a karmic partner involved, okay? Because I'm seeing some temptation. I'm seeing someone bit from the forbidden fruit, okay? So this could look like many different things, but it does feel like there was a connection outside of what they had with you. It may have been with this red hot chili pepper, very hot, very sensual, okay? Passionate, I'm getting lusty. So this is your person maybe going to someone because of physical attraction solely, there was no real foundation. There was no real friendship like they had with you. You and your person had a really strong connection, but it feels like they went for their forbidden fruit. They were tempted by another offer and they literally took the apple. So there's the energy of um, 
yeah, making a mess because I feel like your person didn't have a sense of control, passion, lust, desire. You know, this is someone that went towards something else for the wrong reason. And now they got themselves caught in a very hot situation. OK, <laughs> so there's that karmic lesson through a karmic partner. OK, so for those of you guys who there is a third party, you know, there's a third party. Rest assured that that third party won't be around for long. They had to bit from or bite from the forbidden fruit, okay, in order to learn a lesson here. That's why this bookshelf is here. All right, let's see what else we have. We have the wrinkled shirt. I feel like your person really wants to make an impression on you. Um, there's an energy of being far from perfect, right? Very imperfect. Wanting to make an impression on, you know, you, because this is someone that may have caused a lot of damage, caused a lot of hurt. They know that you don't see them the same way. They know that you don't respect them. They know they've disappointed you. They know that you see them as a failure, okay? They look like, they feel like a failure in your eyes. And so I almost feel like your person now wants to like fix things, right? They want to iron out the wrinkles here wrinkles within the relationship and make an impression on you because they know that things are far from perfect there also could be some kind of surprise here chocolate cupcakes some of you guys they know that you like sweets they know that you know maybe it's your birthday that's coming up mother's day maybe some of you guys are mothers and they want to come in with an unexpected sweet treat a surprise okay so they want to they want to feed you <laughs> i'm feeling like they want to feed you so there could be something about how to make an impression on you um maybe even like get you back through some kind of tangible item okay this could be like a a cupcake a cake a slice of cake or a bouquet of roses there's something your person wants to give you it's like they know that this will make you smile Right, it maybe won't make you forget everything that they've done, but maybe it'll make you smile in a moment. So that could be something that they're working on behind the scenes. They want to impress you and make a good lasting impression. Clouds, fog, haze, confusion, calculator, and we have letter in a bottle. So what it looks like to me is that there could be some confusion. Your person wants to move towards you, but it feels like they're in this place of haze and confusion foggy haze and confusion about where they stand with you so i almost feel like your person <laughs> i'm getting someone that gets high okay for some of you guys your person gets high but that's regardless <laughs> that's besides the point right clouds is telling me that there's something here about your person wanting to come towards you but not really being sure how okay i'm feeling like your person is looking for direction looking for a way forward but there's fogginess right they can't see straight now, we also have a calculator. It also feels like your your person's money is tight right now. You may be going through um, some kind of financial setback. Your person could be going through some kind of financial setback. It could be either or. But there's some kind of financial strain that feels like that's why your person hasn't reached out. Okay, So maybe this is your twin going through some kind of money problems, lost their job. Maybe they were really banking on getting some kind of bonus or promotion and they didn't get it. And they're really now focusing on making money, survival. I'm getting business, hearing business. Some of you guys who started a new business or your person is trying to like start a business, get a business running. There's something regarding money, business matters, okay? So right now there could be a lot of um, trying to figure out how to move forward, how to impress you, but maybe not having the money to be able to. Okay, so there's some fogging haziness. How they're gonna pull this off? How they're gonna win you back? How are they going to bring you in with this ball of yarn? Right. So we also have letter in a bottle. Your person really wants to reach out with some kind of heartfelt offer. It feels like there's been a lot of things that have been left unspoken. I'm seeing someone here who's like very lyrical. They write poems and they want to connect with you again. This is someone that wants to write you um, a sweet, you know, a song or letter. They want to send that text and it feels very loving and romantic and sweet. But it feels like they're having a difficult time on how to go about doing that. They're calculated, okay? They're figuring it all out. Strategizing a way how to move past these clouds to reach out to you, letter in a bottle. Someone is bottled up with their feelings right now. And it feels like they're going to burst with this letter in a bottle. They have something to say for sure. Okay, let's see what else we can find out. Any of the messages for my twins? What's going on? 
what's happening behind the scenes in their twins energy clear concise accurate messages please Making plans, planning, moving forward. So someone is definitely looking into the horizon, physical distance, emotional distance. So they're feeling left out in a cold. This is someone that feels so disconnected from you. They feel like you're a mile away. Some of you guys, you're in another city, you're in another country, and they feel like um, out of sight, out of mind. They feel like they can't seem to get your attention. They can't seem uh, to get a hold of you. I'm even feeling like your person wants to reach out by phone, but they can't. And so this is someone that is looking, you know, looking at their chalkboard, trying to come up with a strategy, a plan, a means on how they can move forward with you. I'm definitely seeing a lot of planning. Someone is very much in their head, overthinking, super logical, okay, about how they're going to make this happen, okay? There's something about trying to move forward, making this happen, but you're so far away. There's something that your person had did where it feels like you guys are so far away energetically, emotionally okay not just it's not easy for them to just get in a car and see you mirroring look at them as if they are you so there's some mirroring going on which is a very common thing in twin flame connection so you may find that you know maybe you highlighted some things about your person and they didn't like okay but well the truth is that they needed to know those things right there was something that they saw in you and it made them want to fix themselves. It made them want to do better. And so I almost feel like your person ran away because they didn't like seeing themselves in the mirror. They didn't like seeing their imperfections. Fear, holding back, overthinking. Okay? So there's some fear here as well. Your person's afraid to take the next step. They're frightened by their shadow. This is someone that's in a very dark place, a dark energy, maybe feeling at an emotional low point in their life. This is someone that's literally in the dark, so there could be a lot of negative thinking, overthinking, feeling stuck, and not, again, seeing a way forward, not having the flashlight, something here hasn't been illuminated to your person yet. So there's a lot of fear about how to move forward, how to accomplish something, and so that's why your person's been holding back. They're afraid to come in. They're afraid to make that next step. Now we have karmic partner. So again, the karmic partner is here. So for some of you guys, there definitely is a karmic partner. Maybe there's a past life tie to someone here. Um, big lessons, okay? I don't know what to say. A karmic partner came in your person's life to teach them a lesson, an invaluable lesson. And it's their responsibility to learn the lesson. Pick up that book from the bookshelf and learn their karmic lesson. So there's some kind of karma here that's playing out. And maybe that's why things are unclear as to how this is going to move forward because, you know, your person has to learn a lesson first. Marriage, forever commitment. And we have the fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like your person still is passionate. They're still um, desiring some kind of forever like relationship, commitment. Now, maybe there was a, fray, a fear of being afraid of commitment because we have the marriage card with the fear. So it was almost like your person wanted a long-term relationship. They liked the idea of commitment, but actually taking action toward a commitment or a marriage was scary to them, okay? So it's almost like they desired this. They really believed that maybe one day they get married to you, but the idea of maybe being legally married, of being with you forever, it feels like your person was afraid, okay? They out-talked themselves from doing something here. But your person with the fire energy makes me feel like your person is still fired up about the connection. They still are very passionate about you and there's a desire here. We have deception, wearing a mask, lies, secret, affection. And we have more financial uh, matters here. So finance is a big part right now, okay? It feels like maybe that's, again, reason why your person isn't taking action or why they can't take action, why they may be afraid why they're not reaching out right now. We have lies, wearing a mask in secret. So some of you guys, your person was lying to you about their feelings, lying to you about what they really wanted. This is someone that didn't want you to see what they were all about, their true colors, their real intentions. They didn't want to be real or vulnerable. They were afraid of vulnerability, okay? And we also have lies maybe regarding, again, a karmic partner, okay? Certainly could be coming up here. But I really feel like they deceive themselves. It feels like they only hurt themselves in the end because of this deception. 
And so we have affection here. So yeah, there was feelings. Your person had these true feelings for you. But there's something about not being comfortable to express their true feelings. This is someone that rather had casual connections. It was easy to have a casual friendship type of connection because, well, they didn't have to be vulnerable. They didn't have to go deep. This is someone that was not ready to go deep. And so I'm seeing the energy of your person really missing the affection, missing, holding you, touching you, forehead kisses, okay? This is someone that wants to open up the door to have that type of connection again. Now, again, I'm definitely seeing finances here. So it's coming out again. Your person definitely big, big focus on financial matters, building up their account, their, their wealth. Okay, maybe they lost a lot of money. Maybe they're not in debt. They're paying off their credit card bills or something regarding that. Okay, that is something that they're focusing on. It even feels like your person is now focused on long-term wealth, money matters because they want to get ahead. They want to impress you. Maybe that's what that's about. So maybe they're not going through a financial hardship, but they want to make more money so that they can make a good lasting impression on you so that they can even, you know, treat you to fine wine and delicacies. OK, so there's the energy of I want to impress you making plans for the future because they know the next time they reach out, the next time that you guys connect. They're going to want to take things serious, right? They're not going to just want to come in with passion and excitement. So it's like, show me the money, right? So your person is willing to like now take action and spend money and do things for the long term. All right, I like it. Let's take a look what else we can find out. Any other messages for my twins out there? A new opportunity. So insights gained from a new experience, a job, a partner. Um, your person wants a new beginning. That's what that looks like. Your person wants to take that next step, new journey, new experience. Maybe your person recently got a new job, started a new business. Okay, that could be something that is playing out in their life. An apology, forgiveness through mutual understanding. So your person, that letter in a bottle is like, I want to tell you how I feel. I want to tell you I'm sorry. I care for you. What I said, um, you know, I didn't mean it. That was very mean of me. There could be an apology and wanting your forgiveness, wanting you to forgive them for something they've done in the past. Any other messages? Resolving issues. Solving inner conflict with others healing past trauma. So now your person is recognizing that maybe there's some kind of trauma that they've gone through, something they've experienced in childhood, past life, they never dealt with. And it feels like now it's coming up to the surface within this connection and it's really calling your person to dig deep and do some healing work. So there's some kind of inner conflict maybe regarding commitment, inner conflict regarding vulnerability, expressing feelings they're having to now deal with because they recognize it's affecting their relationship and it certainly has affected their relationship with you. Your person wants to do better. That's what that looks like. They want to do better. And if there's something they, they've done in the past that caused a lot of hurt and damage, it's like, that's not me anymore, right? Embrace, find peace with your current state of being. So I really feel like this is for you guys. A lot of you, um, you're anxious. You want to know when you're reconciling. You want to know when your person's coming back. Are we going to re uh, reunite, right? 2023, am, am I, is my twin flame coming back? Is my twin flame coming back in my arms? Are we going to rec uh, reconcile? Are we going to reunite? Are we going to be together? Um, those are definitely some good questions. And Spirit is saying embrace this time. Find peace right now. Temperance, okay? Be at peace. Temperance is all about doing things in moderation, okay? And it feels to me like be okay with where you are right now. Be okay with maybe not being okay. Be okay with missing your person. Be okay with not being in reconciliation with your person. So there's something here about being at peace with where you are right now in your current state of being, in your physical state, right? Spirit really wants you to embrace this moment evaluation and confession so evaluation it says feed out what doesn't serve you reevaluate the situation so that's what's going on right now your person's reevaluating everything they're looking at themselves they're going deeper right there's a mirroring energy here so you're showing them things about themselves that they need to work on I need to do better at this. I need to be more vulnerable. I need to be more expressive. I need to stop blaming people for everything that I've done wrong. There's something about reevaluating themselves and looking to correct themselves. Course correction here, right? And we have confession. Maybe this is, again, letter in the bottle. Your person wants to confess 
their feelings. Be open, be honest. If there was a secret with this deception energy, your person wants to come clean, own up to a secret that they've kept from you, they were dishonest about. And it says now moving forward, pursuing virtue through honesty. Your person wants to be honest moving forward because they recognize they weren't honest and that has caused great hurt and damage in this relationship. Okay, so let me get the unsaid love messages. That's what I'm going to finish off today. If you guys enjoyed this reading, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I wasn't in a place to settle down and fall in love, but then came you. So there definitely is an energy here of your person, you know, not being ready for commitment, not being ready to take that next step. And when they met you, it was like, oh my gosh, you're the person I can see all those things with, but they were not ready. They were not, I'm getting like mentally, emotionally, physically, they weren't ready, maybe financially as well, because there's some money matters. So they weren't in a place to settle down. They didn't have that job yet. They didn't work on their past hurt, their trauma. They didn't do the healing work, right? Keeping you a secret seemed easier, so your person kept you a secret. So maybe that was a secret. Keeping you a secret from maybe a karmic partner, okay? Or keeping a karmic partner a secret. There's a big secret, okay, regarding their feelings for you. This is someone that didn't want to let other people know that they cared for you on that level. You are not what I'm used to. And because of that, I mishandled you. So this person took advantage of you. They treated you any kind of way they wanted to. This is someone that may have not had respect for their divine feminine or any female for that matter. And so it feels like they just did whatever they wanted to do, right? They didn't care. And so now they're they're saying like, I'm, I wasn't used to people like you. I wasn't used to people who are loving and caring. You seem so much happier without me. So this person could be literally watching you from a distance and they see that you're happy. You're glowing. You're doing well for yourself. You're moving forward. Maybe you're dating someone else and they feel like you're happy without them. Very insecure. I want you without commitment. So yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> It feels like your person just is used to casual connections, right? It's like that's just something that they're comfortable with. And this twin flame connection is really challenging your person to step out of their comfort zone. So, yeah, they may want you the easy way without committing. And I should have been more honest with you. There again, honesty, okay? They're working on how to be more honest, how to live in their truth, right? And how to be open. And not be deceptive, not lie and keep secrets. So there's definitely energy. If I want to be more honest and moving forward, I plan to do so. So that is what I'm seeing, my twins. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.